Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in the new Cyberpunk 2077 game. First of all, I want to mention this game is not well optimized, but it's not that bad. And I want to explain myself because a lot of people will tell me I can run this game in 60 FPS and 1080p. Yes, they're gonna optimize it. Yes, you're gonna have more FPS when they will release patches, but I don't think you will get like 25% more in like two months. I think this game is taking a lot of resources and it's probably the new crisis game that uh, PC Gamer uh, was uh, kind of like waiting on. But uh, yeah, so if you're struggling a lot right now, you will prob probably struggle a lot in two months. So the first thing that you really need to make sure is make sure that you update your driver. NVIDIA released uh, a brand new driver today uh, for Cyberpunk. So really important, do your update. You will get like 5 to 7% boost in your FPS. And AMD, I think they did it like two or three days ago. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD. Uh, it will help you a lot. Also, make sure that you have the latest from Intel, but I'm not really sure if you can run this game with an integrated GPU. So, uh, yeah, you can try it, but uh, make sure that you have the latest dri driver. So, the first thing that you want to make sure is write game mode. Open your game mode over there. Make sure that game mode is at off. You don't want to cause any stuttering. You don't want to lose any FPS. And game mode is a very weird with some AAA games. And it's causing a lot of issues. So for me right now, it's a no-no. Just remove it. Also, the game Xbox game bar. Make sure that you don't use the X Xbox game bar. Make sure that this one is at off. And also for the capture background recording, make sure that it's at off. And also the recorded audio off. Uh, one thing that I want to mention is your uh, overlay. Like if you're using the Discord overlay, AMD, NVIDIA, whatever overlay that you're currently using, make sure that you disable everything. It's causing a lot of issue with games. So uh, it will help you a lot. Honestly, just disable this. The only one that you can really use, it's like use something like MSI Afterburner if you want information about your uh, number of FPS, uh, percentage of usage, uh, degrees and stuff like that. So temperature. So this is pretty much the, the one that I can recommend. MSI Afterburner, normally you will, don't, you will not have any issue with it. So that's about it. Right now you can run the game on two different launchers. You have COG and Steam. I didn't see a difference between both. Both seems pretty much the same. So I didn't see more FPS on COG. So ju I just want to mention that if you guys have this question. Also, uh, for Windows, write GPU in your search bar. Make sure that you open the graphic setting and you have an option called Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. I have a dedicated video was explaining like what this is doing and what like uh, what change that you can expect. But I recommend to put this one at on. And if you didn't do that, uh, make sure that you restart your computer to make sure that this new feature will apply. Uh, it will help you a lot for like entry level and mid range computer, like 3% boost in your FPS. I end computer, I didn't see any difference, so it should not affect your FPS. So that's about it for the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Finally, let's go inside of the game. I will show you what like parameter that you can change and what kind of uh, boost of FPS that you can expect. So we will try to optimize the best that we can. So inside of the game, so currently right now I'm running a Ryzen 3900X with the RTX 2070 on my desktop computer and I also did a lot of testing on my laptop. I'm running like an i7-8000 series with the GTX uh, 1060. So I want to mention when you will look at my graphic parameter right now, it's for like mid high range computer because I feel like my... 2070 is kind of old now if I compare with all those new GPUs but uh, yeah and also I will show you like all the uh, best parameter that you really need to change uh, if you have like an entry level computer because I did a lot of testing on my laptop so it's a bit different and uh, I will show you how to do it. So first of all if you have an RTX card just use DLSS in this game so I will show you an, a preview right now I'm using DLSS in the city and I can have like 110 FPS with my card if I remove the LSS I'm like going at 70 or even 65 it's pretty crazy you really need to use the LSS to play this game like to have like a smooth game right now so let's start with the graphic parameter go to setting the first one is in gameplay 
Uh, you have uh, an option called Crowd Density. If you have like a low-end or mid-range computer uh, CPU, go at medium or even low. It will help you a lot with uh, your FPS. Uh, the other thing is, if you have like uh, you don't have a SSD and you install uh, your game on the an old like HDD, you have a, an option called Slow HDD Mode. Make sure this one is at on. One more thing, it's the uh, enable analytics. If you want to send like data about your activity in the game, don't use th that. Again, if you have like a uh, high-end computer, it doesn't change anything, but it can help you if, if you have like a low-end uh, computer, you want to remove those useless tasks. Uh, I'm not too sure if it will have an impact, but maybe it, sometimes you have stuttering and maybe it's because of that. So make sure that enable analytic is at off. One thing that I want to mention before uh, showing you all those uh, parameters that you need to change is uh, you don't have an apply button, okay? So you just need to press escape and everything will be safe. But I don't know why it happens to me. Like, it's like, it's not all the parameter that got saved, like, right away. You need to restart your game to see uh, them apply. So, for example, I, I changed a lot of different stuff. Uh, my FPS was like at 65 and I went to 80. I restart my game and now I was at 120. So normally some games when you're changing, I don't know, like uh, some important parameter, they're asking you to reset your game to make sure that it's apply. This game didn't give me like any message. So uh, I, I was just wa wondering because I was surprised about like, I, sometimes I was changing stuff and I didn't, didn't see any improvement in, in my FPS. So make sure that you restart your game after that you change all those parameters. So now the famous graphic parameter, a lot of different options in this game. So first of all, field of view, it's a preference thing. Me, I'm playing at 90. Uh, I removed the fil film grain. I feel like the game is blurry when I use that. Chromatic aberration also. Depth of field, I don't use depth of field. I really don't like this option. Uh, I don't like blurry <laughs> in my image. So that's why uh, my uh, depth of field is at off. Lens flare, I didn't see any uh, difference in my FPS, so it's still at on. And motion blur, I'm using, I'm putting at off because I really don't like also this effect and not in the FPS game, so I'm putting this one at off. First of all, the first one, contact shadow, make sure this one is at off. It will give you like 2 to 3% boost in your FPS, so kind of nice. Impu improved facial aligning geometry, didn't see a big improvement over there when I was putting th this one at off, so you can definitely go on. Anisotropy. If you have like just a mid-range uh, GPU, you can easily run 8x or 16x. If you have like a really old uh, GPU, you can go with 4 or 1. So me, no problem with the 16. Now the shadow. All those shadow parameters over there will give you uh, a lot of FPS. Not a lot if I compare with other game because I'm pretty sure with when they will optimize the game, uh, you will gain even more FPS. But the first one that you really need to put at low is the uh, Cascade Shadow res Resolution. This one is just wrecking my computer. So really important this one at low. Uh, whatever computer that you're currently using, if you want more FPS, put this one at low. After that, local shadow mesh quality, I'm going with medium. Uh, I didn't see a big difference between low and medium, so that's why I go with medium. When I say big difference, I didn't see a big difference in my FPS, but my image qual quality is better with medium and I see it, so that's why I'm using medium. Local shadow quality, honestly, you can go with low. Uh, if you have like a really low-end computer, go with off. And if you're running a mid-range computer and more easy, you can go with medium. Uh, Cascade Shadow range, the range for me, I'm going with medium, they didn't see a big difference on my uh, 1070, but on my laptop, it gave me a nice boost when I went to low, so again, if you're playing on a low-end computer, go with low with this one. Shadow resolution, we talk about it. After that, distant shadow resolution, again, this one, go with low, really important. I'm getting 4% boost if I compare high to low. Volumetric fog resolution and volumetric cloud quality, those ones normally give you more FPS than this. So I saw like an increase of 2% for each bracket, so I went to medium with both. I didn't see a big improvement with low, I see a difference between 1% and sometimes even 0 between low and medium. So that's why I'm going with medium with both. Max D dynamic decal, again, I'm going with me medium, they didn't see a big improvement with the, the big difference between low and medium. So that's why I'm going with medium. And with high, high versus low, I'm getting 2 to 3% boost. So that's why I'm at medium over there. 
Screen space reflection quality. This one, again, I'm going with medium. Uh, Psycho, I was losing a lot of FPS and I was like getting stuttering with this one. It's a bit weird. So I feel like right now medium is a good spot for this pyrimeter. Subsurface scattering quality, you can easily go with medium, even on a low-end computer. I didn't see a big difference in my FPS on my laptop. So, and if you have like a mid-range and more, you can definitely go with high. Ambient occlusion really depends if you're going with a lot of like low parameter in your shadow. Honestly, you can just go with off and it also will give you a nice chunk of FPS. If I compare I to off, you can gain 4% over there. So uh, you can definitely go with off, but your image quality will decrease a lot with the ambient occlusion at off. Color precision, I didn't see a big improvement over there in my FPS if I compare medium to I. Difference like sometimes 1%, sometimes nothing. So that's why I'm still getting, I'm going with I. Mirror quality, medium is seems to be good for me. I'm getting a lot of drop of FPS at I, so I'm going with medium. If you're running a low-end computer, go with low for sure. It was crushing my FPS uh, on my uh, laptop. And the last parameter over there, the level, uh, level of detail, the LOD. Uh, I'm going with medium. Uh, I'm getting like... 2 to 3% boost medi high to medium, but when I go to low, I'm seeing like a 1% difference with medium, so that's why medium seems again to be a good spot for now. That's that's the thing, I feel like those low uh, parameter doesn't change anything when I compare with medium, so probably with all those patch coming up with the optimization, it will probably help for the FPS. Ray tracing <laughs> for me, I don't use it honestly. I went, I, I just tried the ray tracing and it d definitely crushed my computer. I was gaining like 29 FPS, uh, but everything was at ultra. But uh, I don't use it for now, uh, it's not good for my FPS. And now the famous DLSS. So I did a couple of tests ultra performance, performance. Those one, honestly, the game it looked too blurry for me. I try balance again for me it's definitely too blurry so I feel like quality right now is pretty much what uh, you should use it's still sometimes blurry and you will look at your um, your character in your uh, inventory the, the guy looks very blurry but in game it's not that bad and it looks good and you're getting a lot of FPS with this it's pretty much the, the, the <laughs> You need to use that honestly. Just just put your DLSS at on and you will get like 40 FPS boost one time. So uh, it's really good to, to use this one for now and don't like remove it. If you don't have the DLSS option, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> so uh, I hope you have an RTX card. After that, the, the one uh, parameter that you can change and it's in video, uh, I'm not using VSync. I don't want any input lag, but honestly in this game, you, you don't really care. It's not like an eSport game, but uh, I, I, I really like to use, like to remove my VSync. I'm using the maximum FPS at on and I'm locking my FPS at 144 because I have a 144 Hz screen. Uh, if you have a 60 Hz screen, lock your FPS at 60. You don't want to generate like more heat in your computer and more usage on your GPU. So you want to get like some stable FPS at 60. So really important to lock at 60 right now because of my GPU is going at 71 degrees. It's the first time I'm going over 70. So I was really surprised when I was uh, playing Cyberpunk. So I'm pretty, and I have a really good like desktop computer and a really nice like I have a lot of fan and stuff like that. So if you have some struggle with your temperature in your uh, desktop, uh, really like really important to lock your FPS. Window mode, really important to play full screen also. I did a comparison, full screen versus borderless. Borderless, uh, I was getting some stuttering, so I'm playing full screen for sure. Uh, resolution, I'm playing native, uh, if, uh, the native resolution of my monitor. But after all my guide, if you're still struggling with your FPS, for sure you will need to lower your resolution and go with something like 720p. It will help you a lot with your FPS, but your image quality also will decrease a lot. And the last one, it's the RGR, HDR mode. Sorry, if you don't have like an HDR monitor, make sure that this one is at none. But uh, the game doesn't seem to have a problem to uh, identify your monitor like No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky, I had an issue with it. Uh, my HDR was at none and I don't even have HDR and I was losing like a ton of FPS because of that. So really important normally in game, make sure that your HDR is at off if you don't use this feature. So that's about it for the guide. Uh, Nothing else to say, honestly. Uh, we will wait on the patch to make sure that uh, we're getting uh, more optimization. 
Um, me, uh, honestly, the DLSS is saving the game right now. Uh, I feel you guys without DLSS. You're probably under 60 right now and you're struggling. So make sure you apply all my guide. If you have any question about the game or performance, just comment in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And also, really important, make sure that you update your uh, drivers. Really important for this game. That's about it, guys. Make sure that you're subscribing to the channel and peace.